Okay, question 19 was as follows. Simplify. 3p less the power 4 multiplied by q less the power 5 divided by 18 q less the power of 7. <coughs> okay, excuse me. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to derive the expression there down, okay, just like this, okay. So, what we need to do, first thing is we need to take uh, care of the coefficients. So, 3 and 18, they have got a common factor, which is 3. So, 3 on top will be cancelled, and 18 divided by 3 will give us 6. Okay, once I've done this, then we're going to write what we're remaining with. We're remaining with P less the power of 4, multiplied by Q less the power of 5, divided by 6 raised to the power of 7. 6Q raised to the power of 7. Okay, now once I've done this, then the next thing we're going to do is, we're, we're going to look what is common on top and down. So Q is common on top and down, so we're going to expand these Qs, okay? And they're on top, I'll expand them. So as you can see, I've just expanded them. If you multiply these Qs down, and you're going to get 7, uh, you're going to get Q less to the power of 7, as well as the Q on top, the Q's on top, if you multiply them, you're going to get Q less to the power of 5. Then what we're going to do here is, now, uh, when you're dividing um, numbers with the same term, or you're dividing the same terms, the same, uh, yes, uh, the same variables, so what you can do is, you can just, when you're dividing uh, numbers with the same uh you're dividing powers with the same base. You subtract the, the powers. Okay, you subtract the powers. So in this case, we're going to subtract 7 minus 5. So it's just the same as we're going to cancel uh, 5 Qs from each. So down here, we'll cancel 5 Qs. And there on top, we'll cancel 5 Qs. Okay. When you count the Qs I've, I've cancelled, they are all 5, 5. So when you do this, that means now we are remaining on top with P less the power of 4 divided by 6 multiplied by Q multiplied by Q. Now this one, I can write it in exponential, which is going to be 6Q squared. 6Q squared. Now... That is the final answer. Now we have fully simplified the expression there on top. Now we can come to question 20, which is name the the input device. The input device that is in computer. What do we use to put information or data in the computer? So one of them, one of the examples is in, um, is the microphone. It's one of those. There is a scanning machine. There is keyboard. There is there are a lot of uh, input devices. So you can go with microphone. Okay. Now we go to question number twenty B, which is how many faces has a rectangular pyramid? Okay. So also not rectangular but triangular pyramid how many faces as a triangular pyramid so here is an example of elect of a triangular prism this is a triangular prism why because it has got a shape of triangle the base has got a shape of triangle so it's a triangular prism so if it's difficult for you to count the sides of this prism i can do you justice by bringing this this is a triangular pyramid uh net okay this is the net of the triangular pyramid so now you can see how many faces it has so every shape there indicated in that bigger triangle is a is, is, is a side of a triangular prism so when you count those shapes the triangles which are in that bigger triangle they are four that means it has got four faces so it has got four faces so we can write it has four faces so the correct answer for 20b was 4 let's go to the next question